Yo, boys, are you all ready to finally enter the Minecraft Matrix? Hell yeah, brother. It's about time that we all become based and red-pilled like Daddy Trump. How are we supposed to get in, though? Well, it turns out we don't need to crash the server after all with a lag machine. The jars we stole from Klaus should let us get in by simply opening it and letting the Matrix consume us. Well, all righty, then. I have the jar right here. I'm going to open it and see what it does. Ayo, guys, it's starting to come out. Attention, everyone. We are all in this together. Let's go to the Matrix, boys, and take it for ourselves. Andrew, you better get your ball slapping, human trafficking, closeted, gay sex having, anime, music jamming, TikTok dancing ass up, boy. I literally caught your brother Tristian learning the crip walk via YouTube video in your grandma's basement, you ugly as shit, boy. El Mao, you must think you're Pat God because I'm about to get to that dick of a dip and flip and flop and dipty dop and whip and slip and sip and you dirty as shit, bitch. You look like Barack Obama's autistic cousin. Bro, Andrew, go away, you traitor. You literally tried to create an insurrection in order to overthrow our government in episode 13. Only I get to do that. Nah, bro, I am a changed man. Please let me go with you. I must unlock the secrets of the Matrix so I can make infinite Bugattis. No, Andrew, you are not coming with us, and that is final. You have 60 seconds to leave before I let this chopper start blasting. Guys, look over there quick. The national debt that was caused under your guys' administrations is right over there. OMG, where, Andrew? That's like $18 trillion. I don't see it. Elmal, get baited. Y'all are dumb. I am entering the Matrix now. Ha 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 ha. And you will not do shit about it. Bro, he really just tricked us. We got to go after him. Yeah, let's let the Matrix consume us, boys. I hope this goes well and we don't die. Guys, my screen is starting to flicker black and white. It's so hypnotizing that one of my Secret Service agents is doing the worm dance next to me for some reason. I'm pretty sure he's having a seizure. You need to call the ambulance right now. I don't even know what is going on. OMG, I'm going through the same loading screen that we got when Klaus booted us off our server. That must be good. Bro, there's no way we just got teleported to the fucking void. There's magic trees and lucky blocks in here. Guys, I guess this is the Matrix. El Mao, this is kind of lame. I expected it to be a little more dangerous. Donald, you dumbass, this place is plenty dangerous. Our games are literally on hardcore mode, so if we die, it's over for us. That is some BS no cap. We got to get out of here as soon as possible. I'm going to start opening lucky blocks. Joe, I wouldn't open those if I were you, bruh, you're gonna die. But anyway, we need to figure out where Andrew Tate went so we can bust a cap in his bitch ass. Nah, ho, I'm gonna keep opening the lucky blocks. Our overpowered super suits are built for this kind of thing. All right, well, I'm gonna do something that is actually useful. Yo, Obama, come with me so we can figure out what is even going on. Wait, Donald, there's a key card reader over here next to some command blocks. Maybe if we can find the key card, we can activate them. Great Obama, we need to find that key card. I just reached a village that was past one of the doors. Oh, okay, I'm coming right now. The Lucky Blocks just gave me a bunch of trash items. Maybe the village has some better stuff. Guys, I found a whole ass caveman in one of the caves. I don't know if it's friendly. Obama, I am not a fucking caveman, you buffoon. I've just been stuck here for literal years surviving on that Liver King primal diet because there's barely any food here. Oh, it's just moist, critical, nice, you're moist. You gotta help us get back to our homeland so we can liberate the Minecraft universe. El Mal, the fuck do you want me to do about it? I've been stuck here as well, and this village won't do anything to help me leave this dimension, so I've just been playing Minecraft here all alone while my streamer buddies have fun without me. Bro, that's sad and all, but we need to carry on with our adventure. Yo, boys, let's go look for some more NPCs to interact with. Wait, before you leave, the locals here have been talking about some sort of Matrix remote that can possibly allow someone to leave this place. But it's merely an urban legend conspiracy theory that goes around, so I wouldn't have too much faith in it. Okay, Penguin Man, I will keep that in mind. This place is oddly peaceful for some reason, guys, and it's kind of creepy, no cap. Yeah, I don't like this place at all. We should have just kept hiding on the island or inside our bunkers like little bitch Donald during the 2020 White House protests. Frick you, Obama. I can literally shoot you right now or use my trump card to boot you off of here permanently. I'd like to see you try Ho, my super suit is much better than your obese Iron Man ripoff. OMG, it's been so long since the last time we had visitors. My name is Joe Rogan, and I am the leader of this village. Hi, Joe Rogan, the podcaster. That's pretty nuts that you ended up here as well, but we're looking for a Matrix remote or key card that can help us get back to our homeland. El Mao, you children really believe in such a myth? There is no such thing as a Matrix remote because there is no way to leave this place. The entities will corrupt you long before you even get close. Whatever, Rogan, your useless village is shit. If it gets drone strike, don't be surprised. Yo, guys, let's go explore this place. Guys, I wouldn't try to go past the barrier if I were you. The Matrix entities will fuck you up. Just stay here and we can keep you safe, unlike those classified documents that Trump had. Oh, Mal, no one cares about some stupid magic barrier. Me and the boys would beat the shit out of any monster that we encounter here. 
Mm -hmm. Whatever, when you come running back here, don't cry for help. This village is one of the only safe places in the Matrix. Those entities have this shit locked down harder than North Korea. How about we just take over this village? We literally have guns so we can just remove Rogan from power. True, Donald, that is a good idea. Hey, Joe Rogan, you better drop your sword or this chopper is going to start blasting. El Mao, I don't know what the hell a chopper is, but I am the best fighter in the village and I can take any of you guys on easy. Oh yeah? Well, perhaps some busted kneecaps would change your mind. Hey, yo, what the fuck type of weapon is that, all right? I do what you say, please, man. All right, boys, we now have control of this village. I'm gonna force the residents to help build us a magnificent White House for the three of us that is made out of the finest gold. Okay, I'm gonna help invoke martial law and put down any rebellions or insurrections within the village during the transfer of power. Guys, I think I see the magical barrier that Rogan was talking about. It appears to be protecting the village from the Matrix, so I'm gonna go past it and see what happens. Okay, Joe, but let's be real. Your dementia ass is probably gonna die. Guys, we got a rebellion forming over here. The citizens are not happy about the recent changes of leadership. It would sure be nice if we had a National Guard we could send in to tear gas them. Don't worry, Donald. I brought some extra tear gas in my backpack. I'm gonna use it on the protesters, and I'm also going to pull a 1989 Tiananmen Square massacre on the protesters to bring the riot under control. Good Obama, we must put down the insurrectionists and charge the rest with crimes like we did with traitor Trump. Joe! I am not a traitor. I was being patriotic on January 6th, and we all know it, so fuck you. Whatever you say, Donald, I got the riot under control. I'm gonna place down some chat GPT AI powered flamethrower turrets to make sure the citizens will never go against us again. The AI that powers the hive mind system answers directly to us. Great idea, Obama. We must invest into AI powered weapon systems. Imagine all the stuff we could do with it. Yeah, this giant laser prototype that Elon left in one of the chests is OP as shit. It automatically incinerates anything that I tell it to. Guys, I'm being attacked by some assholes. I'm running back to the village. There's like 3,000 of them. Well, I guess the Matrix is pretty dangerous then. We need to start mass producing our AI lasers so we can actually stand a chance against the entities. Attention, everyone. The top G has ascended. I am literally Batman now because of the Matrix's power. You peasants must bow down to me. Andrew, you bitch-ass nigga. Don't make me pack your dumb ass again. I don't even know how you're still alive, but you sure as hell won't be when I hit you with this gliz. Shut up, ho. I already apologized for what happened in episode 13. What more can you want? We both have the same goal. Guys, this is not the time. Some of the entities got past our barrier and they can shape shift into our bodies. Okay, Joe, I'm on my way. I'm breaking out the flamethrower, so we good. Donald, are you not gonna back me up, man? We need to do something about Tate's dumb ass. We cannot team with him after what he did to us. Nah, this is just a temporary thing. When this is all over and Klaus is defeated, we're gonna host the Geneva Convention and invite every country on here to make sure a war like this doesn't happen again. OMG Donald, you actually have a good idea for once we must achieve a peace treaty with Chairman Xi Ping and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Yeah, that is kind of genius. Our server is definitely in need of some sort of international law. After what has happened so far, we also need to vote Donald's dumbass out of office so I can fix everything that he broke. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, bitch. You're Andrew Tate. How the hell did you even become Batman? That makes no sense. We all thought you were dead. When I entered the Matrix, I found a cute young fellow with that drip. So I robbed his dumb ass of his valuables all now. I even stole his credit card or whatever the hell it is, but I don't need it because I'm already rich as fuck. Bro, Andrew, that card you have is literally the key card that we were looking for. I'm gonna need you to hand it over. Well, you're gonna have to offer me something, bitch. The top G don't work for free. Um, I guess I can pardon you of any future crime you commit in real life after I beat Joe's dumb ass and win the 2024 election. That's a deal, Donald. You can have this credit card or whatever, but you better keep your promise because I'm tired of having to commit my crimes in foreign countries. Guys, I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Perhaps I'll have to bump Donald's felony indictments to 41 among my dementia. Can't even keep count of all of his crimes. Yeah, I think selling pardons violates some sort of federal law, but I'm not sure. Shut the fuck up, you guys. You all wouldn't know anything about business like me, the master businessman. Pardons be selling for a lot of money these days. All right, well, I got what I wanted. I have literally become Batman, so I'm gonna hop off for now and drive my real-life supercars because my house arrest got lifted. Okay, I guess I'll get off as well. We can try using the key card tomorrow. Yeah, this key card better work. It has tier four clearance, which sounds pretty good, but I'm gonna hop off for now.